Yo! Ah, so I don't know. Just trying something different today. Today I'm going to be doing a... What am I doing? I don't know. Because I've not decided the name of it yet. What am I doing? It's a try on of multiple products by the brand Essence because I didn't think I could get hold of Essence here in the UK but then one of my subscribers Courtney told me that actually you can buy it at Wilco's so I was straight on the Wilco's website and I was getting myself some Essence stuff and anyway here it is I did briefly mention this in another video there it is all Oh, wait, it's not all Essence. I don't know, like, I'm not testing the pen out today. I don't, like, why were the things sneaked in here? A plug? How did that get in there? I don't know. And what else? Oh, we've got some Q-tips. Like, how did you get in there? I don't know. Anyway, so mostly it's Essence stuff in the box. And we're going to be trying it out today and seeing what we think. At this point, I don't think I've actually tried any Essence stuff products I feel like I have I have I'm lying okay so I have I've tried the essence make me brow um the gimme brow dupe and it's okay I don't think it's an exact dupe by any stretch of the imagination I think the soap and glory um volume brow is a lot better but anyway we're just gonna get straight into this today because otherwise it's gonna be like the longest video in the world I'm gonna start with a foundation this is the stay all day long lasting makeup and it's in the shade soft beige i don't really for one second think i'm going to be soft beige but there was no other option like none this was my option soft beige so i feel like we've just got to go with it it may may not be right uh, i'd be very surprised if it is i'm going to shake it just because i feel like i don't shake things enough so i'm shaking shake 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 okay shaked it enough so i'm satisfied i've shaked that enough at this point so What's going on here? Ah, like, okay, so, um, I, right, it's gone wrong. I, there's been a disaster already. So I should have actually taken this sticker off, which I failed to do. And I was trying to pull the, ah! Oh, it's gone everywhere. Now you're twain. What happened then? Uh, it's gone everywhere. Right, this, one sec, I've got to do a clean up operation. Like I've got foundation everywhere and I can definitely say this foundation is going to be way too dark for me by how it looks on my makeup table, how it looks all over my lovely grey carpet that just the other day I was saying to honeys, honeys isn't it great how careful I've been with my makeup application to not get any stains on the carpet around my makeup table. Well, I'm going to have to hide this from Honey's now so he can't see it. But anyway, oh, I mean, this definitely is not going to be the right shade. And I feel a bit bad because, like, look, that's the shade of it. And this is my face. What do we do? Do I do it? I could do it and we could just go with testing the formula. But, I mean, that looks really dark. I don't know. I don't want to. The problem is I don't want to go ahead and put this on my face and then be like, I don't like it. But. I don't want to because it's not fair on the foundation and I don't think that that would be right because let me just see okay on my hand oh it's not so bad it'll make me look a bit bronzed uh, it's got a really nice smell to it though actually it's like a perfume smell oh what do we do should I go for it or should I not what do you reckon because I, I'm so indecisive at the best of times. I don't, I don't think it's going to work, is it? It's going to be completely the wrong shade. And then I'm going to be like, uh, and it's going to look bad. And everyone's going to think it's because of the foundation. And it's not because of the foundation. It's just, I'm when got the wrong shade. Do you know what? I, I'm not going to go for it because it's not the right shade. It's going to look bad. It could be the best foundation in the world. But it's, it's going to look orange on me. It's not going to look right. And it's not fair. Not fair to do that. So I'm going to just carry on. I'm going to put on another one of my foundations today and then we can carry on and we'll have a look through the rest of the product. So I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay, so I'm a complete opportunist and I took that disaster with the foundation as an opportunity to do a first impression on the Invisiwear new 1.0 shade so anyway so that's what I've got my face and it's ironically looking way too light for me which is such a rare thing that never happens 
So, yeah, I don't know, it's a bit crazy. Anyway, my face also feels a bit dry, but I'm not going to talk too much about this because there'll be a review of that foundation coming out. And today, it's all about essence. So, I'm going to next next do my eyebrows and I'm going to use this uh, Make Me Brow which by the way I've not used any of the other Essence products I have been dying to try them but I've not because I wanted to save them uh, for the video however I have tried out the Make Me Brow because I couldn't resist like I was like mm, should I save it for the video couldn't resist so anyway so I have used this before and I, I'm a huge fan of the Gimme Brow by Benefit so when this came out and everyone was saying oh it's it's a perfect dupe I obviously was dying to try it but I wouldn't say it's like a perfect dupe it's definitely like very similar but it doesn't have the same volumizing effect that the Gimme Brow has this to me just feels a lot more liquidy and don't get me wrong it's good it's great for I think it's like three pounds so it's brilliant for three pounds but it's not as good as Gimme Brow and it's not as good as what I think is Gimme Brow's perfect dupe which is the Volume Boost Archery Brow which is by Soap and Glory I think that one's much better and that one's is it eight pounds so I'd rather just pay a bit more and get that one uh, here we go, as you can see I've got it on, well obviously I've got it on right now because you've seen me put it on, so it, it, anyway. Uh, three in one, colour, fill and shape, coloured eyebrow gel, it says it's got fibres in for naturally fuller looking brows. I mean, do you think this brow looks more full than that brow? Well let's face it, my brows are both quite full right now, I don't know if they could get any more full at the moment because oh by the way I did put on some eyeshadow as well because I didn't buy any eyeshadow because I forgot so I put some of the Naked uh, Ultimate Basics palette on my eyes just just because you know I couldn't be walking about without eyeshadow on what kind of world would that be so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other brow Um, if you're a fan of the Gimme Brow by Benefit then I would recommend that you give this one a a go because I mean it's a good one just to have on hand you know for days when you know you're not doing much you don't really want to waste the gimme brow you just think do you know what my brows need a little bit of something then this will be a good one to go for it's okay it's okay I mean for the price it's okay puts a bit of color through your brows I don't really get that there's any fiber like, I don't feel like there's fibers in here that are thickening up my brows I just think it neatens up your brows it kind of sets them and it'll add a little bit of color but I wouldn't necessarily say it's a like perfect dupe for gimme brow I can see why people would think it is because it looks like it is but I think the gimme brow is like so much more of a superior product I just find this is a little bit too liquidy for me what should we do next Let's do a contour. Bought this matte bronzing powder, and this is in the shade. Well, it just says lighter skin, so I I assumed that this would be the one for me. And it's got this lovely like sun design. I did see some other bronzers, right? And it had like a like a print of like a lady dancing, and I was I was kind of kicking myself that I didn't get the one with the lady dancing because I thought that looked like fun. Do you know what I've just realised? My uh, bronzing brush is in the other room so I'm gonna have to go get that should be back in a minute okay so I picked up my favorite bronzing brush which is this one I got it off Aliexpress it was a couple of pounds and it's just amazing because it's you know got like an angled end to it so I love this do a little swatcheroo shall we okay I mean fine I am in des oh where did it all go? I think half of that just fell off in powder on my hand. I had an incident. Let me just tell you quickly about the incident that I had. Right, so this, this, uh, this was my favourite contour powder. But we, we had a, an accident and as you can see, it's uh, no more. I actually purchased this one from Makeup Revolution. It's the Ultra Bronze. I really like this one. This is a really great uh, kind of dupe. Well, it's not a dupe because it's kind of the same. It's a bit cheaper than the Wet n Wild one, but I love this. It smells disgusting though. This one here is going to be competing with the Makeup Revolution one today. And this one smells a lot nicer. This one smells actually of suntan lotion, so I appreciate that. 
Essence is winning so far because it smells nice. I don't feel like it's very kind of pigmented, but that's not like a negative for me with a kind of bronzing powder because it means that, you know, it's not as easy to mess it up. It's, it's giving me a nice kind of definition there. I think it's just a tad too, it's kind of leaning a little bit orange. I'll just put a little bit here. I like it. I think it's looking good on camera. I, I don't. Yeah, I'm liking that. It's got quite a smart, a, a strong fragrance to it, which I'm not kind of overly loving. But I mean, yeah, I'm not hating it. My skin just feels extremely dry. But I mean, that's I think this foundation. So yeah, okay, bronzer. Hallelujah. We have a winner. It's really nice. I really do like this. I think if you're fair skinned, it would work. It wasn't, it was like a little bit leaning, a bit warm, but actually I like it. I'm liking it. And for, I think it was like two pounds, bargain. This is going to be like a bit of a tricky one because I've got two blushes here and I'm not sure which to go for. So I think what I'm going to do is one on each cheek because I mean, we have two cheeks for a reason, so I, I'm not going to make the decision. I'm just going to go for it. So I've got my little uh, favourite blush brush here, the Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Coral. I'm a big fan of coral blushes and I've heard really good things about this. So I'm just going to swatch it. It feels nice. That's what it looks like on my finger there and we'll do a little swatch. A little bit chunky there okay that looks really nice it looks like a just a really nice coral color and it's got a bit of a sheen to it which i'm liking the sheen i'm liking it I'm... here we go i keep getting like a strong smell from somewhere and i don't know if it's the foundation i don't know if it's the bronzer i mean everything seems to have quite a, a fragrance to it which i'm not hugely fond of but um okay so i think i probably applied a little bit too much of that it is coming off as a really nice kind of corally um cor cor you can see it there coral would you agree yes it's not really coming off as being like as sheeny as i expected it might be from the swatch that i did i think i applied a little bit too much but I'm not loving it, I'm not like wowed by it, but I'm not disliking it, I, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so the next one I'm very excited about, this is a baked blush, and it's called Cinnamon Candy, and as you can see, it's like got a domed, it's like, it's a funny blush, I couldn't resist buying this because I thought, this is an interesting product, I, I, I wasn't sure if you meant to like put it on like this, which I think I'm going to do because I've never put blush on like this before. I'll just do a little swatcheroo. Okay. Oh, I'm liking that. Again, it's got quite a sheen to it. It actually reminds me like quite a bit of my favourite Max Factor Creme Puff Blush in Nude Mauve. Oh, is that what I meant to do? I, I, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I don't know if you meant to do that. Am I the only one that thinks that's what you meant to do? I don't know. I'll just blend it out with the brush. Oh my gosh. It's very pigmented. Like, it's very pigmented as you can see. Come on. Blend away, blend away, blend away. Oh, I'm liking that. I'm liking it. Like, it, like I don't think you were meant to like apply it how I applied it. I think you're actually just meant to use a brush. But come on, tell me now in the comments. Did anyone else think that you meant to like actually put this on your face? It, was it just me that, like an EOS lip balm? I thought you just put it, like apply it like that. Obviously I knew we'd have to do some blending, but was I the only one thinking that? I don't know. Okay, which side do you prefer? This side or this side? Satin blush, baked blush. I think I like the baked blush. This was a little bit more expensive at 
£3.50, I think. I'll confirm the price here if I'm wrong. But I know this was more expensive than this one. And I definitely do prefer the baked formula. I think it's given me um, a bit more of a sheen that I really like. Um, so yeah, I prefer the baked to the satin, but I know the satin is very popular and a lot of people do like it. Okay, so I'm so excited about this because one of my subscribers, this is what triggered the whole Essence video, is that my subscriber said this was a really great mascara. So I'm going to give it a go now. We're going to see what it's like and yeah, let's do this. I'm so excited. You know, I love a good mascara first impression. So let's have a look. It's a massive brush. It's humongous like that's the biggest one that I've seen in a while that's what she said <laughs> back again and I know I've got oddly colored cheeks and it's all looking very strange right now and I bet you're thinking you prefer this one don't you am I correct I don't know but anyway it's a massive one I can't get over quite how big this one is it's a little bit clumpy so far now this mascara, sorry I didn't even tell you the name, it's the Eye Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara, so I'm expecting some crazy volume here. So far it seems to be giving me uh, a lot of length and a little bit kind of clumpy like I feel like you could easily take a wrong turn and go into, into clump town. A bit like clumpy, uh, can you see there, just a bit clumpy and uh yeah yeah i'm finding this to be a little bit clumpy actually i don't quite know how to like can you see like i once had lots of eyelashes and now i feel like i've got limited eyelashes i mean yeah it's okay i'm gonna try it on my other other eyelash before i give a full diagnosis Okay, so for me, this is actually more of a lengthening mascara as opposed to volumizing. I'm surprised that it says crazy volume mascara when actually it's just lengthened my eyelashes a lot. Can you see I've got eyebrow stamp and we all know when we get eyebrow stamp, it means your lashes are super long. Um, I'm just going to do my little trick as always and I shouldn't call it a trick. Wow. Okay, so to start with, I wasn't so sure about this and I will say this is a very high maintenance kind of mascara in that you have to be really careful because it can very easily go to clump down. But look, this is very reminiscent to me of spider lashes. Can you see that? Look at that. It's reminiscent of spider lashes. I mean, I'm liking it. I think that it's... Um, takes a little bit longer to achieve the look because you've got to be super careful with it where spider lashes wand is a lot I think easier to work with so I do like it it does I agree it gives you crazy volume so thank you very much to my subscriber Courtney who recommended this to me I like it I do it's very good very good if you're a fan of like if you want length if you want volume I would recommend this it reminds me of spider lashes actually a lot decided whether I like this brush or not I don't know but I'm going to use it anyway this is the probably the one product that I've just been desperate to swatch and I've not I've been really really good I've not swatched it this is the um strobe highlighter you can't really see that can you I'm really sorry it's in uh, the shade let it glow so let's oh it feels nice like it feels really soft there it is on my finger and let's do this oh okay so that's a bit disappointing it disappoint it just disappeared to nothing on my hand like you like you can see it there but this is I suppose a strobing product not a highlighter and I know strobing products can be I know a little bit more subtle than the kind of highlighters that's done nothing do you know what I'm gonna give it a opportunity to shine with no oh, i don't like that brush either see i can't which brush can i right okay this is my i'm just going to use my old trusty highlight brush which is uh, this one here because i want to give it its best possible chance to shine okay i'm not seeing anything yet i'm seeing nothing are you seeing anything coming up on my face i know it's a strobing a strobing one let's do try and do the nose highlight what 
do you know what I'm just realizing that this is doing nothing to my face I'm not a fan of this you have subtle and then you have just not making an appearance at all this is not making an appearance at all so this is a no from me and oh I've completely forgot I had concealer to try and I completely forgot the concealer should I just try a little bit I'll just put some there I don't know no okay sorry I forgot the concealer but I don't think I'm gonna like it because it's very sticky that's not a very fair test is it but forgot it I'm so sorry that was an epic fail and I have two lip products so I've got this one which is natural beauty long lasting lipstick in the shade number seven which is natural beauty I don't know and I've also got this velvet stick I don't know why I'm shouting all of a sudden but I'm shouting I don't know okay so which one should we go for velvet stick or this one or should we do both I'll go with the velvet stick I think first and I'll go with the lipstick first I'm gonna go with the lipstick first Jing feels very cheap but I'm not even gonna like mark it down on that because well I'm not marking anything let's face it and then secondly it, it's it, like it is a cheap product anyway so I'm just gonna yeah I just got a call from the nursery what's going on my lip I just got a call from uh, Alex's nursery saying that he had explosive diarrhea so I'm gonna have to be quick for the rest of this this lipstick It's a really nice shade actually. It's kind of like a pinky kind of coral shade. I don't I don't feel like it's very opaque, but I I like it. I think it's given me a really nice kind of natural look. Do you know I really like that? Do you agree? I think it suits me quite well without sounding conceited. I'm really liking it. It's not oh god at my teeth. Like it's not very opaque at all. But it feels quite moisturising and really comfortable on the lips. I like that. I'm liking it. It's got a really nice, just natural, like almost pink, almost coral. Just very natural and fresh. I really like this. I really am liking this a lot. It's quite sheer, but I'm liking it. This is definitely going to be worn. I approve of you. Yes, I do. Hmm. Okay, so it was really sad having to take that one off actually because I really was enjoying it. But we're going to try the velvet stick. It says it's got a velvet matte finish and it's in the shade. I have no idea. What's the shade? Oh, Cherry, Cherry Crash. Cherry Crash. Okay, let's try Cherry Crash. It's very cherry. It is, oh, it is very cherry, like it kind of orangey ready shade. Okay, so not the best application I've ever done in my life, but I love this colour. I love it. I love orangey, red, coral shades, and I think this is beautiful.